that decision for President Trump to free Alice Johnson. She was serving a life sentence for drug trafficking, released from prison overnight after the president commuted her sentence. There is the video right there. And as you see, Alice overjoyed at the news. She was free, running to meet her family. She was sent to, She was facing a life sentence for nonviolent drug conviction, but everything changed when Kim Kardashian West took her case to the Oval Office, where we'll hear from Alice in a moment. But first, ABC's Marcus Moore has the story in Aliceville, Alabama. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Michael, good morning. We are just outside the federal prison where Alice Johnson was serving that, that life sentence. Yesterday evening, she walked out of this place a free woman after more than two decades behind bars. Thank you, Jesus. In her first few moments of freedom, an emotional embrace for Alice Johnson after nearly 22 long years in prison. The grandmother bursting into tears when she reached the car. I want to thank President Donald John Trump. The president keeping up with a Kardashian plea for clemency. The White House announcing Wednesday Trump would be commuting the 63-year-old's life sentence for nonviolent drug charges. It was her first offense. I feel like my life is starting over again. This is a miracle day. Less than a week after Johnson's biggest supporter, Kim Kardashian West, visited the Oval Office to champion the grandmother's case. I made one of the worst decisions of my life to make some quick money. This interview with Johnson, shot by a digital news company, Mike, caught the reality star's attention in October. Kim Kardashian West shared it on Twitter um, immediately after we published it, and that's how she first found out about and got activated around the case. Kardashian West sitting down with Mike after that pivotal meeting with Trump. I went in, me and Sean, to really talk to the president about Alice Johnson. And, you know, I just really strongly believe that she is someone that has completely rehabilitated herself. The star's attorney, Sean Hawley, has taken up Johnson's cause alongside Kardashian. Alice started sobbing and we all started sobbing and it was just amazing. This was so important to her and she put her time, her energy, her money behind this cause. In a statement, the White House saying this administration, quote, believes that those who have paid their debt to society and worked hard to better themselves while in prison deserve a second chance. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Thank you. What was a mere dream for two decades, this morning is a reality for Johnson and her family. I'm free to hug my family. Yes. I'm free to live life. I'm free to start over. And Kardashian says she hopes this is just the first of many reunions like this for the people still serving life sentences for nonviolent drug offenses. The president reportedly plans to review dozens more federal cases this year. Michael. All right, thank you so much for that, Marcus. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.